What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on Loud and Proud. Probably hear my child crying in the background. We have a baby monitor out here so that the wife can watch baby and do outdoor work. So we're gonna be working on the first gen a little bit today. We got a couple small things we wanna do. A couple of things that we're just gonna have to get done to do the rest of the work that we wanna do with the truck. We've also got a phone call with the winner of this truck today out of Utah, his name is Austin, out of Utah. I haven't spoke with him on the phone yet, but he has been called by the attorney that does the legal drawing and all that stuff, the non-biased drawing, which by the way, is completely unbiased. Like our drawings, we've had people win that have spent five to 10 bucks. We've had people that have won who have spent $500. It's just complete luck of the draw. Anybody who places an order has a chance to win. Of course, the more money you spend, the more entries you get, but if somebody has even just one entry technically, they have that one entry that could get drawn. So everybody has a fair chance at winning one of our trucks. It's not a competition of who spends the most money and then we just cherry pick the top customers. That's not how it works. Sometimes I wish we could do that for certain people who have been longtime customers for the last few years that have still been trying, but we legally cannot just cherry pick people. It's gotta be legit, it's gotta be completely unbiased and I don't do the drawings myself. Um, so that's how it works. Anyways, let's get to starting on this truck right now. So what we're gonna be starting with today for the resto gen is a new intake. So let's see what we got here. Piping, boot, and I'm gonna take a wild guess that this is the filter. Looks like that's it. So let's start by taking off the old one. Now I'm not certain yet, but I'm pretty sure to get this box out, there's these two bolts right here. Well, bolts. These two nuts right here that you gotta remove to remove the box. So those two are off, but do not forget this one last one right there. Or you can also remove the two nuts on the bottom side because that's a lot easier. All done. So this is what it looks like with everything out. The wheel in here, um, everything seems to be really good. It's really snug. It doesn't have a bunch of play up and down. It doesn't have any play in and out. It spins freely, you know? It doesn't rub or snag or wobble or anything. That seems good. Um, so now what we're gonna do is install our new boot, pipe, and filter. And I actually got blue because I kind of wanted it to match the truck. Maybe that's Kind of goofy, but I like it. It should be the same 7 16 size ratchet to tighten this new band on. Get my filter on there to make sure I can position it properly. So out with the old dusty junk. Feel the dust. Old filter, and then you got the new one. Again, I went with the blue because it kind of matched the truck and the interior of the bay, engine bay. Um, it's a PDR intake. I couldn't find a lot of these intakes for these first gens, and when I Googled first gen, you know, cold air intake, this is pretty much one of the only ones that popped up. There were like two or three options that I could even find anywhere, and so this is the one that I went with. I like this one the most. It looked super simple and it was one of the more uh, cost friendly ones um, because there's some out there that because of the name they'll charge $600 for a freaking intake and I don't know about you but that seems really dumb when it's the same diameter piping in the same size filter it's just four times the price I don't think so um, but yeah so that's what we got under the hood here looks really good hopefully it helps it get a little bit more cold air going because what we're gonna do is throw some bigger injectors in here soon, but we're not gonna be doing that today. But stay tuned. I think you guys are really gonna like what we have coming up next. It's gonna be a, gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna get a lot of little things done under the hood of this truck. It's gonna make it look so much better. Not only look better, but function better as well at the same time. So stay tuned. It's gonna be a lot of fun. But that's what we got in here today. It was the new cold air intake. Help it breathe a little bit better once we get some more fuel pushing through this thing. Help it cool a little bit better. One beautiful, beautiful looking person. It's still just hard to believe that this thing literally was basically a scrapyard truck and now it's a first gen that 
probably one of the cleaner first shins that I've ever had. Fam, we are in the Whistling Diesel first gen. I know some of you guys get a little bit ticked when I call it the Whistling Diesel first gen or the Whistling Diesel third gen, but you know what? I'm calling it that because that's how people refer to the truck. That's how people know the truck. They don't look at the truck and think loud and proud first and they think the Whistling Diesel first gen, so that's just what I call it. So it's very obvious which truck I'm talking about. So we're in the first gen right now. We're gonna be calling the winner for this truck. You know, like I said, he already knows that he won. He was called by the attorney, but he hasn't spoken to me yet. So this is going to be our first conversation together. His name is Austin. He's 24 years old. He's out of, I don't know, Heber or Heber uh, City, Utah. Let's give this guy a call and uh, congratulate him on such a fine, fine win. By the way, if you want to have the opportunity to win a truck as well, head on over to lmpgear.com. Buy yourself a hat, a hoodie, a t-shirt, a keychain, you know, a, a koozie, a decal, whatever. Buy anything off the site and automatically get entered to win the Whistling Diesel third gen dually plus $5,000 cat. I bet he's gonna be pretty excited. Hello. What's going on? How's it going? Dude, going good. How are, how are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. I bet you're doing a little bit better right now. Yeah, I am. <laughs> I, I hadn't called you, it's been a couple days. I'm like, I gotta give this guy a call. He's probably getting nervous. Like, I haven't heard from him yet. Yeah, oh yeah. Dude. I've been anxious as crap, man. Dude. No kidding. You're from Utah, correct? Yes, sir. Utah, your name is Austin, right? Yes. Okay. When did the attorney call you? What day was that again? Um, the 22nd. 22nd. Oh, wow. That's been, yeah, that's been four days since he called you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a little bit of a wait. <laughs> so, yeah, fill us in a little bit about, like, what got you entered into this giveaway? Like, how did you come across this particular event well i i do follow whistle and diesel on instagram and everything okay so um i kind of noticed that i have followed you ever since probably like a year i think now okay so i've kind of noticed some of your giveaways and stuff you know yeah i just never really entered one really thought about it you know and then once his truck came up everyone's like oh my i want that first gen you know so uh, i figured i'd buy something and end up getting a phone call <laughs> Dude, that's crazy. So what at what point in the giveaway did you enter? Was it more like towards the end of it, the middle, beginning? Um, I ordered something, I think it was the fourth. The fourth? I ordered a hoodie and a t-shirt. Okay, so that was like the last week. The fourth of um, October, yeah. Dude, crazy. So you entered the last week of the giveaway. You bought a hoodie and a t-shirt. Yes, sir. Okay, I just want everybody to hear that, you know, because there's people that think yeah, it's, it's all I've, about I've the top reading, spender. I've, <laughs> hey, man, I've been reading all your comments and your replies to them ever since I found out I won. And I, I wanted to comment back, but, you know, like, I just don't want to say anything. But yeah. It's just kind of one of those things where, you know, it is one of those things where you don't have to necessarily spend that much money. Like you said, it's a random girl. Like, you, yeah. you want to give everybody a chance, right? You should, you spend a dollar and you get a sticker or you know what i mean like yeah no i know what like you mean one guy said that he spends two grand and now he's all butthurt and it's just like <laughs> one of those things like hey man no one told you to do that yeah just fun yourself you know i remember one of those guys and he's like i can't believe he's like i should have won you know like i spent more yeah, money than yeah. most of these guys and i'm like dude like we appreciate the business but everybody yeah, has equal right. opportunity you know I said equal opportunity, not equal outcome. Just remember that. Like, you might have had more entries than a lot of guys, but even if somebody had one entry, if that happened to be the guy that got lucky, then that's the guy that got lucky. Like, that, that's all yeah. the science there is to it. It's not, it's, it's not, not hey, let's cherry pick the top spender of this giveaway because he deserves or, it most. That's not how it works. The, whoever writes the sweetest comment or something. Yeah. yeah it's not anything yeah. like that. It's just random thing yeah you know? i still think there's a lot of people that don't fully believe that but that's how, exactly. it, how it goes apparently i have all these relatives all over the united states that some look like me some absolutely don't but somehow we're all related and that's the only way you win <laughs> <laughs> some of the craziest comments i'm telling you we'll keep up to date with each other on stuff well dude thank you i appreciate it so much man appreciate it dude you take you care you. have a good day well, dude, you too. Thanks, Bye. Mike. that was austin from utah and uh, he's taking home this freaking first gen, dude. F-150 seats, specialty wheels, 24 by 16s. We gotta get the thing washed up, but other than that, I mean, this is a freaking stud of a truck, and he's getting this thing plus 5,000 bucks delivered to his freaking driveway, and you could be next. Here is the current giveaway truck. It's the Whistling Diesel third gen. Truck's got leather interior, upgraded radio and sound system. Very clean, no rips or tears. 
a little bit of grass on the carpet. If you look under all of this, the carpet's actually really, really in good shape. It just needs a little vacuum vacuum job and that's about it. So if you would like to enter to win this truck plus $5,000 cash and be just as lucky as Austin, literally just go to lnpgear.com, place an order, buy anything off the store, and every $1 spent is gonna get you more entries towards winning this truck plus $5,000 cash. And this giveaway ends on November 11th, so don't waste any time. Thank you guys so much. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.